All right, so in this video, you're gonna learn how to justify type in Affinity Publisher. And hopefully by the end, you'll be able to go from something that looks like this to something that looks like this. The problem with justify type is that when you first turn it on, you end up with a lot of irregular spaces. But we can give the software a recipe that'll make it look lots better. Step one, check your character count. You wanna aim for about 50 to 60 characters per line. To check the character count, click view and click show word count. Then you want to find the info panel on the bottom of the screen and right click where it says word count to see the character count. Oh, and by the way, the line that you want to check must be selected. And now I can see that this line has 58 characters, which is perfect. If your character count is too small, you might consider adjusting your column width to hit that optimal 50 to 60 character zone. You can also try adjusting the font size, but don't go too crazy. Step two, check your document for double spaces. Sometimes when you import raw text, you'll find a bunch of extra spaces. We want to get rid of those spaces because it's going to create a bunch of unsightly rivers down the page. You can use the find and replace function to get rid of these quickly. So if I hit command F, the find and replace window opens on the screen. Now I'll just type two spaces into the find field and type one space into the replace with field. Then I'll hit find followed by replace all. Step three, adjust hyphenation settings. To get the best results with hyphenation, first open up the character panel and make sure that your hyphenation language is correct. And now I'm gonna switch over to the paragraph panel and make sure that auto hyphenation is clicked on. And now I'm gonna set the minimum score to one. Basically a higher number means that you wanna hyphenate less often, but if we do that, it's gonna be hard to get rid of those extra spaces. Now I'll set my minimum word length to seven. Minimum prefix letters, I'm gonna say two and minimum suffix letters, I'm gonna say three. And lastly, max consecutive hyphens, I'm also gonna to set to three. Step four, justification settings. I'm gonna change the word spacing from the default 80, 100, 133 to 70, 85, 100. Basically what this means is that we're giving Affinity permission to make our word spacing a little bit tighter all around. Next, we're gonna adjust the minimum letter spacing ever so slightly to give it minus 2% minimum and plus 2% maximum. You have to be really gentle here, otherwise the letters will feel too cramped, but I found that 2% is pretty acceptable in most cases. Now I'm gonna change the style to justified left so that our last line isn't spread out. Step five, optical margin alignment. Last, I'm gonna turn optical margin alignment on because visually those hyphens can make the right edge feel a bit ragged. This looks all right. If this was a real project, I would probably continue playing with it because there's still some spaces in there that I would wanna get rid of, but that's the basic recipe. And like all good recipes, you should adjust to taste. And lastly, keep in mind the reader. Of course, we want beautifully justified text, but only if the text is readable and flows nicely. Let me know if you have any questions. See ya.